Hi, this is Mel Giannone from Paramount Real Estate Properties and today I want to share with you a brief interview with a friend and a client. Her name is Janice Wheeler. She's an entrepreneur and like most entrepreneurs don't have time to transact in real estate, let alone deal with this COVID protocol that we have to all go through. In any case, hers is a great example of how we can still transact in real estate during the COVID lockdown. Janice, you and I have known each other now for a little bit of time. Uh, we first met back before COVID started, and we actually started our transaction during COVID. And I liken your case to a classic example of a landlord running out the clock, where you have to come up with a solution, and the clock is ticking, and yet you have to have enough time to find a location, meet your budget, satisfy all your business needs, and then lock it down all during a COVID situation. Can you tell me um, the problems that you were having prior to us actually taking on this exercise? Okay, well, number one, we had started in COVID and um, so I was in lockdown and my landlord called me and offered basically, somebody wanted our suite. It was the right size and it's right next door to his suite. And he wanted to know, did I want to move somewhere else in the building? And I said, not really. I only have two years left on my lease. I'd rather get out of it because it's really super expensive. And, um, and so um, he said, yep, you can be out of your lease. You have six weeks to move. What? Six weeks to move. Huh. Well, that ought to be interesting, especially with everybody on lockdown and offices shut and, and so on. So I called around to a couple of real estate places and... They didn't respond properly. And I called Mel and he answered me right away. And we met right away. <laughs> and we ran around to, I think, at least 25 places looking at various locations. I think the first one that we looked at was actually the one that I chose in the end result. But we had to see all the others and make offers and find out was I getting a good deal. And boy, it's almost half the rent that I was paying before. And now, don't count on this. This is a super special thing that happened, but he got me six months free rent as well. And so that was awesome because of this whole COVID pandemic and lockdown and, and so on, because you know the income isn't what it usually is and so on. So all of that was like so incredible that he pulled that off. I mean, it's just beautiful. We love it. <laughs> I gotta ask you, most of the clients that we deal with get intimidated by the notion that they'd have to actually go through a thorough process. That is, find the candidate properties, filter them down, qualify them, then try to get the landlords to compete your, with, your, uh, with your bid or your business and have them compete for that. Um, did you feel any sense of frustration, even though we were in a pandemic and there are protocols in place, did you get a sense that this was gonna be a frustrating endeavor. Have you had past experience and can you kind of contrast that with our experience? Yes, the last time I moved, I, did, I had the same amount of notice and lucked out, sorta, except I had nobody to negotiate for me and I'm a really good negotiator, I really am. But he's got me hands down, Mel knows how to do it properly. And uh, so we found a place with fairly short notice, but I had a high rent, so I didn't negotiate that down well enough, maybe, but I also didn't get any free rent um, or any concessions. So, you know, in that regard, it pays to have a real estate agent and especially somebody who for 25 years has worked in that area and knows all the properties. I went to one before I hired him and I really liked the premises and the guy lied to me and told me that uh, it was available. In actual fact, he had an offer that was just at the legal stage of being closed. And I was like, oh my God, we found the place. And I was so happy. And then when I found out the truth, it broke my heart. Mel kind of knows, because we've talked about it and made sure that that deal did go through. And it did, so, you know, but it wasted my time, him not being truthful with me and not taking me around and looking at other places. So when I found Mel, we just went to town and we just got busy and uh, just got into it. So it totally different than trying to do it all by myself, which I did the time before where I went to one place and another and I had two places competing for my business. But, you know, one was making me one offer and one was making me another. And I, I finally just kind of tossed a coin in the air. <laughs> 
maybe I was right and maybe I was wrong. I'll never know. But I'm so glad that we're out of that one now because uh, it's so expensive. It was a beautiful building, but it was way too expensive and way more space than what I needed. So we found the perfect one where I am now. I was going to ask you, how did you feel when we actually secured the space and you knew that we were going to get in on time, we were going to get in, in on budget, even though we had the landlord spruce up the place for you, we knew that would take some time. We knew that we wanted to have, review the lease. How did you feel at the end of this whole ordeal? Oh, wow. We, once we had the place secured, which I think we had three weeks more till we had to move in, and we found out that all they had to do was paint. The carpet was actually one of my reasons for choosing the place. It's phenomenal and it didn't need changing. That was very lucky because during COVID there was no way that that was that was the problem. We had to find a place that was pretty much move in ready except for painting and they were painting it right till the day of our move in. We had to do very carefully <laughs> past certain spots but having this place took that off my mind while we found movers and packers and you rented a truck and all those things you have to do to move. We had tremendous, I mean we're not a little amount of stuff. I forget how many 20 filing cabinets and tons of desks and stuff. So it was like quite a, a move, but um, having the space arranged allowed me now to jump into that as opposed to not making my move out on time from the other place. So thank goodness. So we found you plug and play. We found you space where the configuration lent itself well to your existing business. Could you, could you tell us about how productive you are in this place? It's in the same market geographically, but it allowed you to get to work right away. And it was, I would have to think that it was a streamlined process moving from one location, plugging into the next and not skipping a, a beat. Can you talk a little bit about how this place actually suited its well, its, it, your business needs well for productivity? We actually fit into this place. It was actually unbelievable. And Mel helped a lot on that, like helping me figure out, okay, whose desk's going where and where can we put things and how can we arrange things? And in the future, there's a place where we can build a couple of walls when we expand in staff. So we've got room for about four more staff and uh, as we grow. And he also assured me that in the same set of buildings that there are other suites that come up and if I outgrow this one and my leases end up, don't worry, they'll find me something else. I like that part a lot. So the building that we moved into, it's a number of buildings and it's only two story buildings. So we're on the second floor, which is lovely because we get our exercise running up. I actually prefer that. The movers did not when it was time to move in desks and filing cabinets. But for us, we really like it. Whereas before we were all on the same floor and um, you know, on the ground, like where there was an elevator and we just got off the elevator. And um, yeah, so getting everything moved into the right spot and you know, the final move in when you go, okay, yeah, this is gonna work. <laughs> Cause it was smaller than what we had before, but it was fun to, um, to see how everything fit into place and all the staff got their desks set up the way they wanted them. And, and, uh, and it's definitely working. I love it. And we have so many compliments on this place. We chose a very um, radical color scheme. It's white with orange walls, not deep orange, but a lighter orange because that's our company color on our letterhead. And then the carpet is this beautiful black and gray stripes. It's just gorgeous. And um, so I did a video and put it on our website so all our clients and anybody else can see what we look like and everything. I'm just proud of it. It's just beautiful. I have an award for my favorite real estate guy, Mel Ginoni. It says, the world's best commercial real estate agent. This certificate is awarded to Mel Ginoni Paramount Real Estate in recognition of his amazing knowledge, experience, and dedication to finding us the perfect premises and the perfect deal, despite an impossibly short time frame and a pandemic. Thank you, Mel. Thank you so much, Janice. It's an honor. Thank you. <laughs>